Thirdly, the party opposite initiated and promoted the reckless deregulation of our financial sector, which contributed significantly to the financial crisis, and then failed to manage the economy in such a way as to ensure that we had sustained significant growth. We have half the levels of growth that we've had since historically under this government. I'll make some progress, Mr Speaker, because business investment, up, up the prognosis for growth, is, is reflected in the business investment, which is the lowest in the G7, and we are the only major economy where investment is falling. Our productivity is 15% lower than other major economies and has not grown this slowly since the Napoleonic Wars. So that is, there is an achievement. Average real wage growth since the Second World War was 2.4% per year, but under the Conservatives, pay has fallen by 3%, and the UK remains the most regionally unequal country in the whole of Europe. So this needed a big budget to rebalance our economy, provide the industrial strategy with the backing it needed to address these serious problems. But it was deeply disappointed.